the last thing that we will be learning for the day is conditional formatting. Now basically what is conditional formatting? We have already learned about sorting in which we have arranged the data in either ascending or descending order. Next we have learned about filtering in which we were able to see only those particular rows which satisfy certain condition and the remaining rows were highlighted or oh, sorry hidden. And now we will be moving to the third option or third for <clears throat> third feature for the day that is conditional formatting. So I was about to say what is conditional formatting. It is basically used to format the cell based on certain specified conditions. Now we have already given conditions in the filter part also. We will be able to apply the conditions in the conditional formatting. But in filters the rows that satisfies the condition were visible and the remaining rows were hidden. But over here in conditional formatting we will be able to see entire table with the rows that satisfy certain condition or the cell that satisfy certain condition will be highlighted with different colors. Now how to go ahead with it? <clears throat> Again step number one select the data that is cell range to be filtered or on which we require to apply the conditional formatting. So I have selected the entire thing to be conditional formatted. So I am changing this particular part now. Next click on the format menu. So we are required to go on the format menu. After clicking on the format menu you will be able to see conditional formatting over there. So in format I will be able to see conditional formatting. As soon as I click on conditional formatting, we will be able to see an entire new window appears on the right hand side where another window will open on the right hand side. In it you will see the following options. Apply to range. So first we are able to see the range. Yes, our range is G1 to G6 as we are able to see the same range we are able to see over here. The second option will be format rules. So as you are able to see format rules. Now over here there will be <coughs> a drop down. I require to click on the drop down. Suppose now I require only those particular students who have secured less than 27. Less than 30 marks. So what I will be doing. I will be going in. Selecting the entire cell. Cell value less than less than what less than the value 30 and you can give your own color over here whatever color you want suppose if i'm giving yellow color definitely you are able to see all the things that are less than 40 is also highlighted now you are able to see even the roll numbers are highlighted which we don't want so what i require i require to only select the marks after selecting the marks i will be going under formatting under formatting you will be able to see conditional formatting under conditional formatting again you will be able to see the range of the cell this time it is c1 to g6 less than less than 30 and you can give bold italics underline whatever format you require to give you can give those particular even we can select the font color i will be selecting the highlight color as yellow so you are able to see all those particular cells in which the marks are less than 30 is highlighted. Click on done. You will be able to see. Now if I want to add another rule. <coughs> Again select the entire range of the cell. You will be able to see one condition is already applied over here. That is value is less than 30. Add another rule. So add another rule. It is greater than this time. Suppose if it is greater than 40 or greater than 45. We are able to see 49, 48, 47. And if I want to change any other color, yes, I will be giving certain other color. So that it is clearly visible to us. And click on done. So in this manner, you are able to apply conditional formatting.